Hi, so here I would like to talk about a previously unknown method to fix your PlayStation 3 by replacing a faulty RSX graphics chip. And here I've got an example board where I have already performed this procedure. This is a backwards compatible model. Um, number is COK002. It's taken from a European 60 gigs PlayStation 3 and here I have soldered a 65 nanometer GPU which is a lot more reliable. So how is this possible? Well, the key component is hiding right here and um, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. And um, there it is. So with the help of this little guy you can now pretty much swap any type of um, faulty RSX. One of the biggest recent developments is that you are actually now able to diagnose what component may be broken by 
simply reading the codes, the error codes from the Syscon chip. As it turns out, and I'm only talking about backwards compatible models now, in 90% of the cases the problem is still inside the RSX and not in the NEC tokens. And only 10% of the cases may have a problem in another component, which may include NEC tokens but is not exclusive to NEC tokens. So that way you don't have to blindly guess anymore, you don't have to throw the motherboard into the oven and you know hope that it fixes something and you don't have to reball the RSX and you know then six months later it breaks again. You can just do the diagnostics correctly and if it turns out that your RSX is actually dying and that is the main cause of yellow light of death then I definitely recommend getting this mod chip and you know replacing the whole graphics chip okay so I hope this was useful information for a lot of people who want to repair their broken PS3 machines and this method works not just for the backwards compatible models but also for the regular ones in this video I was only focusing on the 60 gig version because I think Personally, those are the most valuable uh, models and the ones that are actually worth repairing simply due to their capabilities and because they are the most susceptible to yellow light of death fault. So, yeah, but um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to share and I'm gonna try to answer them as well as I can. So, have a good day and bye.